Right now, getting jiggy with the laughing bureau.com. Get jiggy with it. One of my favorite comedians I have is, I would have to say, Arne J. That would that that would probably be one of my favorite comedians of all time. And the reason why I, the reason why I say that is because, you know, when you when you look at Arne J, he's a clown. I mean, I feel like he's one of the most funniest urban comedian to ever touch the stage and, and he can kill all audiences. You can put him in front of an all white crowd, he'll kill it because his content is not threatening. You know, he doesn't just base his content off of just one off of one category. He had jokes that make everybody laugh. That's why I like Arne and Jay and I learned a lot from his facial expression. People think that my facial expression come from People like, you know, um, Chris Tucker or whatever. It, it didn't come from that at all. A lot of my facial expression came from Arne and Jay because I felt like that he was so animated. He was so animated, and I was just like, damn, that, damn, that's so amazing how a guy can be that animated and be that funny and leave that much of an effect and have people rolling like that. Like, that's my goal, to have people rolling like that, laugh out loud type of laugh because I've never seen Arnett do any type of crowd and people didn't somebody didn't let room cry. When it comes to a mainstream type level as far as television and movies, I would have to give it to Martin. Martin is one of my favorite comedians when it comes to a television and movies because I feel like that's the aspect. He he I grew up on Martin. I didn't grow up on Richard, you know, because I wasn't around during that time. Only person who I can relate to is Martin and he he inspired me to to do movies and he inspired and he basically showed me hey 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 you can um do this in the mainstream world and accomplish this that third and be on the level that I'm on. When it comes to an artistic level, I have to give it to Jamie Foxx. Because I actually relate to Jamie because I play the keyboard. I sing or whatever and I and when I go back to spoken word I just look at it as an artist. I feel like Jamie Foxx is one of the most the one of the most gifted comedians to ever join the platform ever. You know, no one would, they may not like Jamie's joke, but it's going to be something about Jamie that you like. And I feel like Jamie is not only just respected as a comedian, but he's more respected as an artist overall. You don't just label him just one thing and say, hey, that's comedian Jamie Foxx. You say, yeah, that's, that's Jamie Foxx. He sings, he do this, he, he plays piano, he's an artist. And then the last one, what I would have to say when it comes down to a political standpoint, I would have to give it to Chris Rock. So that goes back to my that goes back to to just spoken reason just in general why I even started. It was just basically me talking about serious issue, political stuff, and basically I feel like Chris Rock is is probably the most successful political comedian to ever touch the stage because he can actually go worldwide, international with it, and touch all people just through comedy or just his political views from his own own opinion. 